Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash ValderBeebeShow, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. No. Good morning, Detective Derek Lavasser. Thank you for joining me on the Velder Beebe Show. Thank you for having me. Well, we're going to talk about the OJ trial. Is he innocent? We're back to that again. Yes, yes, we are. Well, you've got something good going on in Investigation Discovery. You've got a mini, I call it a mini series or a docu series. Right. Well, okay, tell me about this. I think it's six parts. Correct. Okay, we get to, to, to take this journey again. Right. Okay, what are you guys going to tell us on Investigation Discovery? And you guys do a good job of finding the truth. You really do. Well, that, well that's that we aim for. I mean, we're going to be looking at a couple of different things. Obviously, we're going to be giving some updates on some of the players that most people may already know. We're also going to be talking to some new witnesses. We're going to be analyzing some new evidence. And ultimately, we're going to come to a conclusion about many of the theories that are currently out there involving the case, and specifically involving O.J. Simpson and what his involvement might have been that night. When you take a look at this, will this change anything? Uh, the outcome has already been determined. And, you know, there's this thing called double jeopardy. Does Correct. it change anything? Well, this is what it changes. I mean, obviously, if we come to the conclusion that there was somebody else involved, that person has not been acquitted of, acquitted of murder. So if that person is able to come to light for us based on our investigation, based on the evidence that we find, they are still susceptible to be in charge. Ultimately, that will be up to the LAPD, but maybe it'll shed some light for not only the viewers, but other people in, law enfor in the law enforcement community. You dug deep, it seems, and you dug hard. You got the Browns and the Goldmans to participate. We How did. did you do that? You know, that's, that's a testament to investigation discovery and the production team. Um, obviously, having them was, was huge for me as an investigator because it validates what we're doing. They're still looking for closure, and it motivates me to work harder for them because that's who I'm working for ultimately, the victims and their families. When we tune in as the audience, what kind of interaction will we have or we'll just sitting there watching? Well, what I like to think is that I'm not only asking the questions that I want to have answered as an investigator, but I'm trying to put myself in the minds of the audience as well and what the types of questions they're going to have as we uncover different things. So my hope is that as you guys are asking certain things about this investigation and where it's going and saying, gee, I wish they would have done that or I wish they would have done this in the next scene or two or in the next episode, you see us actually do that. That's what the goal was to really answer any questions that you guys may have as we go through this process to be a stellar docu-series because you've got the award-winning actor Martin Sheen narrating it. Right, right. That, that's a big kudos for you guys. Yeah, for a guy like myself, I'm just a normal guy, just a cop, to watch the show and hear Martin Sheen voice over on the whole thing. It's, it's surreal. It's, it's, a, it's a cool experience. Uh, I respect Mr. Sheen tremendously. He's a Hollywood legend, and to have him to be part of this um, is, is amazing. How did you come to this docu-series? It was, a, it was a couple different things. Bill Deere was the originator with this. He wrote a book about it. Um, and obviously, he's pretty set on his theory of what happened that night. But to really bring validity to this case, you have to have unbiased investigators look at it. And, uh, and Investigation Discovery put together a team consistent of myself, who was very young at the time when this, when this original incident occurred. Um, and also, uh, Dr. Chris Mohandi, who was actually a, a part of the negotiation team during the actual Rockingham standoff with O.J. Simpson. So we all bring a different perspective, but collectively we have the same mission, and I think that really comes through in, in the entire investigation. Well, I know you guys know, and the creators on Investigation Discovery know, this is a great time to bring this back as 
the uh, series OJ on another network had done phenomenal in right. winning awards. So I think people are going to just see it as a continuation. Some people are not going to know the difference. Right. And you know what? That's great. As far as the television aspect of it is concerned, if that's the case, that's, that's, that's amazing. But ultimately for myself and uh, Dr. Mohandi and, and Bill Deere, we just wanted the truth. We looked at this case as if it was one of our own. And ultimately what we wanted to do was come to a conclusion by the end based on what the evidence we found. And we did that. So regardless of viewership and who tunes in and who doesn't, we're very satisfied with the outcome. You say, look at it as one of your own. You're a detective. Is this the type of work that you do as a detective? Well, I'm actually, I was promoted to sergeant. I've been a sergeant for five years. So not only was I detective, uh, a detective, I was in charge of the investigation, uh, the, the special investigations unit at some point. So yeah, I was a detective. I received many active cases and I have an approach to how I handle each case. And that approach you're going to get to see in this entire, this entire series because I didn't treat it any differently. I know there's a lot of uh, information out there about this case. I tried to put all that aside and I looked at this as it was one of my own given to me by, by my lieutenant. All right then. So this is coming up for us on Investigation Discovery. When do you, what, when do you want us to watch? Sunday night, January 15th, 9 p.m., I hope you guys check it out, and it's going to be going on for three nights. I think there's going to be a lot of new information you guys are going to learn, and I just really hope you enjoy what you see, and, and I hope that the viewers are able to come to their own conclusion by the last episode. All right, you got us there. We're going to be there at the right place at the right time because, you know, everybody wants to know about the OJ case. I don't know why we're fascinated, but we are. We really are. Thank you so much, uh, Derek Lesseur, for being my guest today and talking about it in advance. I really appreciate that. No, thank you for having me, Valdir. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.